you need to know what you are fishing for. Uh, if you're going to go fishing, you have to know what kind of fish uh, you're going to be fishing for because there are different types of methods for fishing. There are different types of equipment. There are different types of hooks. There are different types of bait. I mean, you know, you have to do different things in order to catch different types of fish in different types of fish environments. And so you've got to identify uh, who is your target. Now, I want to say right up front, when we, when we talk about identifying a target, we are not talking about being exclusive. You know, the first pushback I get whenever I talk about a, a determining a target for your church is, well, we want to reach everybody. We want to reach everybody. Well, if you go out and try and catch every fish, more than likely you will catch no fish. Okay? So it's not a matter that we're saying, oh, we don't want to catch these people, we don't want to catch these people, we don't want to reach these people. No, it's, it's not being exclusive, it's being effective. And I found in my own church that the more I got focused on reaching my target, the more effective I became at reaching those people, the more different types of people that I caught. Because as you reach a certain person, as you reach, identify who the target is that you're trying to reach in your community, they know people. They know people older than them. They know people younger than them. They know people more different than them. And so they'll begin to bring them, and, and you'll have... My church is very diverse. Uh, it's very diverse in age. It's very diverse in income. It's very diverse in race. It's very diverse in background. It's very diverse in professions. But we've reached all of those different people because we very strategically identified the target that we wanted to reach, and then we let that target broaden who, uh, who we brought, in, brought into the church. So it's, uh, we'll, we'll walk through, and, you, and you'll see how this plays out. But as you look at, in the Bible, Jesus had a specific evangelistic target, Matthew 15. He says, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Uh, Paul and Peter both had a specific evangelistic target. In Galatians 2, 7, Paul says, I was entrusted with the task of preaching the gospel to the Gentiles, just as Peter had been given the task of preaching the gospel to the Jews. And the disciples were given a specific evangelistic target. In Matthew 10, he says, Don't go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. And so there is there's a power that comes when you um, uh, focus and seek to reach a, a, a certain type of people. The, you know, none of us are good at everything. None of us are good at, at connecting with every uh, type of person. And so, but we can become good at reaching the people that we can reach, and then they in turn can reach, can reach other people.